What? Is the fucking boomerang alive? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to what it said about it. The fairy boomerang. It'd be funny if we didn't... Okay, so something lived up to the fishing rod, the boomerang. <laughs> It'd be funny if it, like, he didn't catch it, though, and it just fucking cut his head off. <laughs> the end. <laughs> that would be funny if some video game studio was, like, brave enough to do something like that. If I could make, like, an independent game or something, I would do that kind of thing. I wouldn't do that with, like, a big budget game, but, like, some short game that's only got, like, one temple seems like it's gonna be this huge story, then your character just dies in this stupid anticlimactic way. <laughs> 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 when it seems like the game's gonna just be getting started. There's gotta be a game like that somewhere. Already. I don't know. I, maybe, like, on Newgrounds or something. Yeah, but... that's what I was thinking. This is really stupid. Why can't you just do it once? Well, that would be, uh... That would take too little time. No, we want you to be in this room for longer. Look at the totem poles. Yeah, there is no reason to do that more than once. Okay, so... Is that it? That's the first temple? No, that was the mini-boss. Oh. Let me go up. You gotta use the wind. WIND! Oh, yeah, here we go. Did you ever play, like, Soul Calibur 2 or 3? I have 2. But I don't really play it that often. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Failure. That was weird, I was, like, stuck between the two of them. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna read you something important. Okay, for, for a little while, you may have to suffer grief and all kinds of trials. These have come so that your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may be proved genuine and may result in praise, glory, and honor at the appearing of Jesus Christ. What is that? Some stupid twat has that on her Instagram. <laughs> It's, here, God is like, thanks for putting that on your Instagram. I'll, here, I'll send you a picture and maybe throw it up, like, right now on the, uh... The, in video. the video. Yeah, but this this is what that chick looks like that had that on there. Okay. <laughs> There's still more monkeys. Still more monkeys? Too many ostriches. That was a Family Guy joke. Too many weekend soldiers. That's a San Andreas sur search. So what is a search? That's a search. Yeah, hipper snapper, 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 he has a following, but like I don't, I don't think anyone knows who he is anymore. I mean, like a lot of people who watch Let's Plays, like people know who PewDiePie is, but I don't think people, a lot of people know who Nintendo Capri Sun is outside of the people who are sub already subscribed to him. It at my job, everybody likes to watch Markiplier. He's like the worst. I've I have seen very little of him. From what I can tell, he's just some guy who changes his faggy haircut, uh, like, every, <laughs> every week, and just and just does a bunch of trendy stuff, because I've seen, uh, like, in the sides of videos, for, I don't know why, but for, like, uh, months now, I've seen on, like, the sides of videos, of, of videos I actually want to watch him, like, making a shushing gesture, and it says, like, the world's quietest let's play. He's he's making shish kebabber snish. Snish kebabber. Right. But he's doing like an ASMR let's play. Oh my god. That's actually like I remember making a joke like that to Jeremy or it might have been you but or both of you but like a while ago when we first found out what ASMR was I was making jokes like hey, let's do an ASMR let's play and that became like a big thing. Yep. I hate that ASMR gets zero ridicule. Nobody criticizes it. I don't think that's true. Anytime I watch one of those weird-ass videos, and I look in the comments, it's nothing but praise. No one's like, what the hell is this stupid shit? 
It's because, um, the people who like it are the only ones in the comments. I Normally, no matter what, you can still find things of people criticizing anything. It's just, I, I've seen a lot of those weird ones, and Jeremy used to send me a lot of weird ones, and every time I looked at the comments, I've never once seen anyone just be like, I didn't like this ASMR as much as your last one, like, not even something like that. It's nothing but, ooh, it's so tingly! <laughs> I'm so tingly! I have ASMR! I'm tingling! My butthole is tingling. Ooh, tingle tingle! From that one... Majora's Mask, Tingle the character. Yep. That's a it's a real success. Tingle Tingle. A tingle my, my... gives you tingles, Kulu Limpa. Those are my secret words. Don't steal them, for well, they're great for ASMR videos. Oh no, oh no. Is that supposed to be him? No, I just messed up on this. This That's how I sound, don't you remember? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> don't you remember? That's how I sound. That's <laughs> just how I talk, talk. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just have a realization that you've always sounded like that. Ha. Ha. I no. Ah, I da. What if you, like, actually believed me? <laughs> I'd just be a fucking imbecile. Well, you, all of a sudden, you're like, what? Well, your voice changed. The big Why key, haven't you... That kind of looked like a weapon. It did kind of look like a mace from Lord of the Rings or something. Yeah. Have you Me seen too. those movies, I, like, in their entirety? Yeah. Not, it's been a while, though. You've seen all of them? Yeah. I never made it through the first one. <laughs> yeah, what was gay about them? <laughs> it wasn't really that it was gay. It was like, I thought it was boring and too long. I can't make it through a three-hour movie. Like, you just jumped right off. I know. I was trying to. Oh. I was looking for a chest. Here it is. Because I can see them on my map now. With I, I got the compass. When when you saw the Lord of the Rings movies, were you like these movies are badass? No, I was kind of mild on them. Yeah, uh, some of my friends were like, no, I remember actually. I saw uh, with my friend from, like, elementary school, and his father, we saw the second one. I had never seen the first one. We saw the second one in theaters. I don't... It was the one with Gollum, or... The, My precious! I don't remember if that's the second one or not, but... He's in all of them, I think. It, was, it wasn't the first one. I remember that, because I remember being lost in the story, but not lost in the Google, like, I didn't... I wasn't following. But I remember thinking, like, this movie is boring and, and too long. And then when we got in the car and we're driving back to his house, his dad was like, Man, what a good movie. And I was just like, I thought it sucked! <laughs> and, and then when I tried to... One time I tried to get through the first one, um, because I was going to do a book report on Lord of the Rings, and I had, like, all year to do it. I was, like, 16, and I didn't read even a page of it. So I, my friend let me borrow his Lord of the Rings DVD, and I couldn't... I got, like, an hour into it and was like, I, I can't watch this anymore. You couldn't even watch the movie? You had to do a book report and you couldn't even watch the movie the book was based on? Yeah, I couldn't even... Get, it was Or the other way around? Yeah, I know what you mean. It, it was too long. I, it's It's got all the things that I like. I should like those movies, but I don't. I just think they're boring and too fucking long. Is there any, like, medieval fantasy movies that you like? Let me think. I actually don't really think so. I don't really watch a lot of medieval fantasy movies. I mainly like it in video games, but there's got to be at least one. Like, I remember when I was a kid, I liked The Princess Bride, but that doesn't really count. Yeah, that's. Yeah, there's no. There's not. There's sort of fantasy in that. Well, there definitely is, but it's not really like you aren't like. It's not about knights fighting dragons or anything like that. But it is, yeah. it is medieval for part of it. And then there's the uh, Army of Darkness. I like that movie. If you oh, wanna... you still like it? Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you mean I still like it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you think is gay. It's like, it's totally ridiculous, but it completely works. There, I don't think there's anything gay about that movie. Uh, 
And then Jason and the Argonauts, which I've, I've never seen in its entirety, but it has like some really good stop motion uh, animation and stuff. I'm not sure if that's medieval though. I think that's more like Gladiator. I can't quite remember, but yeah. Uh, have you seen it? No. But I know what you're talking about, like Ray Harryhausen and that kind of stuff. Yeah, and it has all those skeleton fucking uh, stop motion and all that. Yeah. I, I saw, I think I saw the whole thing when I was a kid, but, like, I don't, like, I if I have seen the whole thing, it's been many years, but I do remember, like, I really enjoyed the stop motion and uh, thought thought that the, uh, the creatures and all that were cool. I have, like, a ton of respect for stop motion. Stop motion, I like that better than CGI. Oh, yeah, by far. Oh, yeah, squeeze in. Oh, yeah, squeeze in. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> like, CGI, I mean, it's... I used to be really into CGI when I was younger, but... Like, when it started getting really big when I was, like, 13, but now I just... I think stop motion looks a lot more... If it's done well, like, you can do stop motion and it looks kind of shitty, like... You know at the end of Terminator... When, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, <laughs> that it looks horrible, <laughs> and you can. Yeah. Then the Terminator thing is was only like a three feet high like model, and you can tell like it doesn't look big when it's chasing after. I don't remember how uh, big it looked. Did you see it recently or something? Yeah, I I watched all the Terminators um, like last year. I watched them. Well, I tried to watch Genesis and couldn't because it was horrendous. <laughs> but that's what I've heard. I, I watched like the first hour or maybe 40 minutes of it, but they kept doing like cutesy jokes. And then at one point, the Arnold Schwarzenegger model like doesn't even fucking go with them. And it becomes about this like bastardized uh, Sarah Connor. And what what was the guy's name in the first movie? John Connor's? No. no not John. It was what who became John Connor's father. I can't remember his name. Um, I, I'm, I can't think of it right was now. Was it like Ian or something? It was, no, Kyle. Um, Kyle, oh. It was Kyle something. It was a stupid name. It, it was, uh, John, Jeff? It was, it was J J the Jiminy Crickets. Yeah, it was, it was the Jiminy Cricket. Um, but yeah, he kept making, like, all these stupid jokes. Like, cause, um, the Arnold Schwarzenegger... Terminator or whatever, he's been, like, reprogrammed to be good, and he's, like, making these weird things, like, you and Kyle is Kyle Reese. You and Kyle Reese need to mate. And then, Sarah Connor... Kyle Con Reese. Yeah, and Sa Sarah Connor's, like, stop saying mate, it's weird. And then Kyle's, like, um, is there, like, a switch that we can turn on to make him stop saying this weird stuff? It's just, it's horrible. Sounds and, like, like, millennial humor. It is, it is like millennial humor, or like, or stuff that, like, your mom would think is a funny joke. You know, it's like... like po post-The Office humor. Yeah, it, it's like, it's, um, that's a good way of putting it, yeah, it... What's that show, Big Bang Theory? It's like Big Bang Theory humor. And it also just completely bastardizes all the uh, events that happened in the first movie, which is one of my favorite movies. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, the first, uh, the second one I like, but it's not one of my favorite movies. But the the first one, I, I really like the um that like early '80s like night horror film vibe that it has. That that's like yeah. on like a cheap budget, but it's not a B movie. It's just you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, I really like that that stylistically and. I like when, uh, there's actually some cool directing that James Cameron does, like, when after uh, the Terminator kills people, it'll, like, zoom in on their dead face with their eyes open and, like, blood all over their faces. <laughs> it looks cool. It, they really look fucking dead. Like, it, it, they, it, like when he goes into their apartment, uh, where, where he thinks that Sarah Connor's roommate is Sarah Connor... And the dude, like, the guy keep like, her boyfriend keeps trying to fight him, and he just picks him up and throws him through the wall, like, four times. And the dude's just covered with blood, and then he shoots the girl, like, like, he opens, like, like the whole clip into her. And it just zooms in on her face, and her eyes are all open, and, her, and there's, like, blood dripping down her face. I forgot how like, extreme that movie was. Yeah, like, and then at the beginning of the movie, he fucking impales a dude with his fucking hand. 
I don't remember that. Yeah, you know when there's like those street punks and they're like, what is it, laundry night, faggot? Because he doesn't have any clothes on. <laughs> and he's, like, he's just like, yes, uh, not, no, none of my laundry was cl clean or something like that. And then a dude goes to fight him and he grabs his arm and then he just shoves his entire fist in the dude's stomach. That would be a good movie to have on Blu-ray, I think. I don't think I have, like, anything on Blu-ray. If you have a PS4 or a PS3, then you can watch Blu-rays, so oh, you yeah. might as well get some. Yeah, I know, but I pretty much watch everything on my computer now. 